Top of the first one. Hi everyone, welcome back to my 11th episode in my Bag in the Munros series, and this is a big one. This week I'm climbing 9 Munros in one day. I did it with my mates Owen and Keir, and this is the longest Munro walk I've ever done. I do plan on doing longer ones in the future, but as you can see from the scale of it, look how big it is. This is one you'll have to do after you've got your body a bit better weathered to climb the Munros. But it starts at the Glenshee Ski Centre in the Southern Car Park. <laughs> You'll need to stick around until the end so you can see all the stats of how long it took us to get to the top of each Munro. Yep. We had such a nice day for it again. I, I was already sunburnt from the previous Munro, but I just whapped a load of sun cream on and I was alright. The first Munro we come to is Craig Lacach, and you can see that on your screen right now. The mountain ahead of us is also a Munro, and it's called Glass Mall, and we do that second. On the map, you can see us just coming around the edge now, past Glass Mall. Yeah, there isn't one spot on this walk where you don't get good views. Every single path that you're on's always got a good view. That's us reached the summit of Craig Clacac in just over an hour and 30 minutes. It took us just under an hour to get from Kreklakak to Glass Mall. <laughs> On the map, you can see that we're halfway between Glass Mall and Carn and Clays. We made it to the summit of Karnan Clays in 3 hours and 23 minutes. As you can tell by the wind, it was starting to get really windy in places. We're just at the bit now where we're halfway to Tom Bui. I was running out of water so I decided to get some water out of this waterfall but it had so much dirt in it. I found a better one later on but this one just had so much dirt. So 
So we managed to reach the top of Tom Bui in 5 hours and 15 minutes. It only took us 45 minutes to get from Tom Bui to Toll Mount. They are very close together. We are now heading to Karn and Turk, and this is the last one of the six on the east side. We're just coming up to Karnan Turk just now and at this point we're about halfway around the whole route. and it took us just over six hours to get to the top of Karnan Tour. We decided to sit down and have lunch just over the other side of Munro in a little cubby hole just so there was no wind. You'll be able to see from this freeze frame the last three Munros that we have to do, which is Karn Osh, Karn Ayoi, and Cairn Well. And now we're just walking towards the road in the valley and there's a lot of rivers here so it is really nice. So the mountain you can see in front of us is Karn Osh and that is our 7th Munro that we have to do. Okay, this bit coming up is the hardest part of the whole walk. This walk up this Munro was horrendous. It's just a constant steep incline all the way up to the top and it is, a, it is really tough. But I think the way I recorded it didn't make it look as hard as it is. So if you are going to do this, then you'll realize how hard it actually is. But it did end up taking us eight hours and 51 minutes to get to the top. And now we're starting to head to the very far away, Karn Ayoi. And we did end up seeing a few people at this loch just up here, so if you are fancying just going up and 
having a nice time then. I would definitely recommend just going to this lock here. And you can see the Munro with the little tower at the top, that's Cairnwell and that is the last one that we'll have to do. So we do have to go back on ourselves eventually to get to it. Getting to the top of this Munro is probably the best it's ever felt getting to the top. Just because it was so far away and we were all running on empty. When you get to the top of this one, you really start to comprehend how far you've actually travelled when you look back and see all the Munro's you've been to. When you're walking back towards the Cairnwell, you do get a bit of extra energy just because you know how close you are from finishing. But like I said before, literally every part of this walk you're getting such stunning views and it's so nice. It also just looks so weird seeing Glenchy without any snow on it and just seeing all the different routes without the snow. But here we are, after 11 hours and 40 minutes, we finally reached the top of the Cairnwell, completing our nine Munros on this one day. And it honestly felt so good. Now, for the walk down, the route that we were following says go back down one of the ski routes and follow the path down but we were literally parallel to the top of the Munro, so we thought we'll just go straight down and it only took us 18 minutes to get down from the top of the Cairnwell, so I would definitely recommend doing it. And it was the best sight ever, seeing the cars so close after 12 hours of walking. But now let's get into the crucial stats of the day. On the right hand side you can see the heights of all the Munros that we climbed in the order except we've done Glass Mall and Crake Lacac they're around the wrong way. But the tallest Munro out of the mall was Glass Mall at 1068 metres and the smallest was Carn Osh at 915 metres where it has to be 914.4 metres to be a Munro so it's just a Munro. And on the left is the time that we summited each Munro but like again, Glass Mall and Craig Lecac are round the wrong way. The walk took a total of 34.1 kilometres, and after doing these nine, it puts me up to the tally of 27 Munros. But for my ratings, I'm giving this one a speed of two, because it was just under 12 hours, and the difficulty three stars. But I'm giving the scenery four stars, because of how nice it was the whole way around. So a final recommendation rating of three and a half stars. Because you made it to the end of the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future hillwalking videos. I'll see you in the next one.